2023 has been absolutely insane for Jordan brand releases, which makes sense because it is the year of Michael Jordan. And even though March was probably one of the craziest months I think we're gonna have in 2023, April is not too far behind. And we start things off with the release of the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Green. And I know Air Jordan 1s are not as hot as they used to be and people have moved on to Air Jordan 4s, but as someone who still loves the Air Jordan 1, it's my favorite sneaker of all time. This release, although yes it is, a Celtics release is probably one of my favorite Air Jordan 1 sneakers to drop in the last couple years. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the upcoming Air Jordan 1 High Lucky Green. But before we dive into the video, I want to give a huge thank you to Swift Soul for supporting the channel. <sighs> It's hard to buy sneakers. It's crazy. Even when the sneaker market is down, it's still really hard to buy sneakers that you actually want. The last sneakers W that I got was a DJ Khaled Air Jordan 5s and they they sat, so that doesn't even really count. Before that, it was the Air Jordan 3 Fire Reds. And again, not a difficult shoe to get. So needless to say, it is very difficult to get sneakers for retail nowadays. It sucks, but it's the truth. But Swift Soul is here to change that. They've created a mobile app that connects sneakerheads with the valuable information that they need in order to cop sneakers for retail. So Swift Soul offers two different plans. You've got the free plan and the paid plan. The free plan offers release calendars, drop alerts, restock alerts, news and information about sneakers. But if you decide you wanna take the next step and go into the paid plan, which is $9.99 a month, you get access to all drops and all raffles they have raffle trackers so you can make sure that you've entered all the raffles that you want to enter. They've got scheduled drop reminders, they've got customized restock alerts and drop alerts so you can make sure that you're following every single release that you want to grab. And of course, live chat support if you have any questions or concerns on the app and even more to come. So if you guys want to check out the Swift Soul app, make sure to click the link in the top of the description below. And once again, huge thank you to Swift Soul for supporting the channel. So the Air Jordan 1 High Lucky Green officially releases on April 15th for a retail price of 180 bucks. Which is crazy because the shoe that this shoe is based on comes from the DMP pack from 2009 and the entire pack which included two pairs of Air Jordan 1s only sold for 225 bucks. But hey, if you want to grab a pair of these, I've made sure to leave an affiliate link in the description below and also on the YouTube shopping tab on your screen. So like I mentioned, the original release of this colorway was back in 2009 as part of the DMP pack which came with a pair of bread Air Jordan 1s. Now, obviously Obviously that pack released 14 years ago, so there are some pretty major differences between this shoe and that shoe, but the overall colorway and color blocking was the same. So the inspiration of this colorway comes from all the way back in 1986 when the Bulls and Celtics were playing in a playoff series. Although the Bulls did get swept in that series, Michael Jordan did put up an insane double overtime performance where he scored 63 points, which was the highest amount ever scored in one game during the playoffs. And so as a way to commemorate that, Jordan Brand released the DMP pack back in 2009, and now in 2023, we're finally getting a retro of that Air Jordan 1 in this green and black colorway and honestly as a Sixers fan I hate to say it but I really like this shoe a lot. I had to wear this hat in this review because if I didn't I feel like it would have been bad juju for the Sixers. They're killing it right now so maybe it's a bad call to do this review. I don't know I'm not very superstitious but this just seems like a seems like a problem. But before we get any farther into the video, let's first take a look at the box. So I really love when Jordan Brand does this and decides to switch things up on the Air Jordan 1 box. It's a pretty simple and iconic box and in most cases it comes in black with red. In this case, however, they decided to switch out the red for green. Actually, it's not too different than what they did on the actual colorway of the Lucky Green ones. They took a pair of black toe ones, switched out the red for green, and now you have the Lucky Green. So kind of a cool touch. I really dig the way this looks and I actually have a lot of black and red boxes in my collection as you guys could have guessed because like I said, I'm a huge Jordan one fan, so it is nice to have a different color box on the wall that kind of adds some contrast. I guess that's really only a problem a sneaker collector would have, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are, so you'll probably appreciate me saying that. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below if you like having all of your Jordan 1 boxes stacked looking exactly the same, or whether you like having some different boxes thrown in here and there. Either way, unfortunately, this particular box is not going to go in my collection because I was not able to grab a size 9. I had to grab a size 10 off a goat just because that's all they had available for instant ship. But regardless, it didn't hinder the review whatsoever. I still tried the shoe on. I have other pairs of Air Jordan 1s in a size 10, so I can still give you fit advice, but regardless, this is a size 10, and the official colorway of this shoe is black, lucky green, white. But now that we've got the box out of the way, let's dive right back into the sneakers themselves. So starting off in the toe of the sneaker, like with the Air Jordan 1 black toes, you have this black mud guard that wraps all the way around the outside edge of the toe. This mud guard comes in smooth black leather. It's nothing exceptional, but it's also not bad. Just kind of your standard Air Jordan 1 leather. And then moving up from the mud guard, in the center of the toe, you've got this white perforated 
perforated leather that again, looks really nice, is similar to the black toes, and is also nothing exceptional, just kind of your standard Air Jordan 1 leather. As you continue up in the shoe, you get to these black eye stays that come in the same leather as the mud guard of the sneaker, and weaving through the eye stays, you've got these flat green laces. So kind of interestingly, these are the laces that come pre-started in the shoe instead of the black laces that come included inside the box. I would have expected the Jordan brand went with the black laces because that's what they tend to do with shoes that come in black and white and things like that. But I guess it's kind of nice to see Jordan brand change things up a little bit, and I decided to go with the green laces even though in my head I wanted to go with the black laces and now that I've got them laced up I don't mind the look. I've also got to say that the green laces match the green leather so well it's really difficult to match colors on different materials and Jordan brand always does a pretty decent job and this colorway in particular they really knocked it out of the park. The green is like the exact same shade on the leather and the laces it's crazy. But moving on underneath the laces you've got this standard black nylon tongue and at the top of the tongue you've got this black tongue tag with Nike Air embroidered into it in green. Now this is one of the changes between the original DMP Air Jordan 1 and this pair, the original version, had a Jumpman tag, which most pairs of Jordan 1s had in 2009, so it's nice to see them go for the more OG look. That's also something that we've become used to over the last couple of years. Jordan Brand's been switching everything over to the Nike Air tag, which I think people do appreciate. Moving inside the sneaker, you've got a black fabric sock liner, and rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got a black insole with the Nike Air branding printed on the heel in lucky green. As you probably could have guessed, it seems like Jordan Brand always takes the accent color on the shoe and prints that on the insole of the sneaker. It's a nice touch, and it looks good. It'll wear off in like five seconds as soon as you wear the shoe, but it looks good when you first get the shoe. But now let's get into sizing and fit, and I'm happy to report that the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Green fits just like every other pair of Air Jordan 1s, as you probably could have guessed. And for me, that's true to size, so if you're grabbing a pair of these for yourself, I would recommend going true to size or whatever size you usually go in with Air Jordan 1s. Now, if you've never tried on a pair of these before, you honestly shouldn't have too hard of a time finding these in store after release, because I don't think they're going to be incredibly popular, so you should be able to try them on in store before you buy them, just to make sure that you're grabbing the right size for you because again this is a $180 shoe it's not cheap but hey if you're grabbing a pair of these and you're trying to accent your look I definitely recommend socks from my sock brand apothecary we've actually got this really cool experimental collection dropping this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time it comes in four different colorways my personal preference to match with this shoe is the black sock it looks incredible especially at night it just pops it literally looks like lightning it's so sick there's also two pairs that feature glow-in-the-dark lightning which are absolutely insane so if you guys want to grab any of the socks from this upcoming apothecary collection it drops officially this Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, link in the description below. They're also crazy soft socks, so if you're looking for the most comfortable socks out there, again, Pothcare is the way to go. But continuing back in the sneaker, on the midfoot of the shoe, you've got some more tumbled white leather, and then on top of that, you've got this black Nike swoosh that also comes in leather, unlike the original DMP pack, which came in sort of like a nubuck material. Personally, I definitely prefer the leather. I think it matches the upper of the shoe so much more. Then moving even farther back in the shoe, you get to this lucky green leather that wraps all the way around the heel of the shoe. It's pretty decent leather. It actually feels like it's a little bit softer than really any of the other leather on the shoe, which is interesting because you can't really feel it that much because there's a hard heel counter underneath it. Again, I'm not a Celtics fan. I don't even love the color green that much, but I've got to say this color of green is so vibrant and so bright, so much brighter than the original DMPs. I just love the way it looks. Then towards the top of the shoe on the lateral side, you've got your Wings logo embossed in black. On this pair, the Wings logo is closer to the more recent release 1985 pairs, which comes out of the shoe, and it features this really nice sort of matte or I guess semi-gloss black paint which looks really really clean and I just think it's such a nice detail it's such a small detail it's such a subtle detail but I love that they went for this Wings logo versus the other Wings logos I think it just makes the shoe feel maybe not more premium but definitely newer in a good way actually I guess it's truer to the OG so maybe it feels older I don't know. You guys get my drift. Then moving down on the sneaker, you get to this bright white Air Jordan 1 midsole, and rounding off the look, you've got this bright green rubber outsole. So yes, while I'm definitely not a Celtics fan, I have to say that these Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens are incredibly fire. Now, the good news about this shoe, if you're looking to grab a pair of these for yourself, is that because Jordan 1s are not as popular as they once were, I don't think this shoe will be that difficult to get. I think they are going to produce a lot of these. I'm not 100% sure, but that's my guess. So if you're trying to grab a pair of these, while well, yes, you should enter all the raffles that you possibly can to make sure that you get a pair, you might be able to find pairs in store after release. I'm not going to guarantee that. I think that depends on your region and things like that. But the good news is, if you want a pair of these, it shouldn't be impossible to get. And even if you have to pay resale, it shouldn't be that much more than retail. But hey, at this point, I would love to know your thoughts on the upcoming Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens and whether you're planning to grab a pair of these for yourself. So make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.